My name is David, and I'm here to show you the Scarab books. But first, if you'd like a free trial, you can enter your email for a free trial here and just click try it first. Now let's click on sign in now. You'll input your email address, your password, and you click sign in. Once you sign in, you'll see your name right over here and you'll click on it and you'll see books, sales, people, go to dashboard and sign out. Let's click go to dashboard. In the dashboard, you'll see Descara books, Descara sales, Descara people, download Descara for Android, and download Descara for iOS. Let's click on Descara books. Now we're at the dashboard. Here you can see your sales, purchases, profit and loss, customer trends, vendor trends, product trends. If you look over at the left-hand side, you also see your sell, buy, pick back ship, products, warehouse, contacts, reports, banks, accounting, apps, and your settings. So let's go to products. Now we're at the product screen. Inside the screen, you can see tracked inventory, non-tracked, which is your service material, and your bill of materials. You can also see number, product name, category, available stock, and status, where you can activate or deactivate your products, edit, copy, or delete. If I click on a product, I can drill down to the screen where I can see a picture, description, barcode. I can see buy, sell for the accounting details. Under inventory details, I can see um, for track product. I can also see the bill of material details. Next, let's go to warehouse. Inside here, I can see my different types of warehouses. I can also add a warehouse here. Next, let's go to contacts. Inside contacts, I can all summary, customer summary, and vendor summary. I can also see the number, contact name, type, they owe you, you owe them, and the status. Or I can active or inactivate. I can click on the three dots, edit, copy, or delete. And I can drill down to the customer and see the general information and accounting details. Next, let's go to buy. Inside buy, we have our order, bills, and archived. We have our numbers, contacts, due date, total amount, goods received, and quick action. Under create new, we can create a new order, or we can go directly to new bills. Let's click new order. Inside here, I can add my contacts, add in a line item, input the quantity, change the unit price if required, input the discount, and I inputted 10 as just 10, it becomes a flat discount. If I put a percentage, it allows for percentage discounts. I can also check the box for unit price is tax inclusive. We can choose a number range. We can customize the number format. Separator, display digits, separator, and suffix. And I can save. After saving, I can click on the three dots and edit it or delete it. We also have global custom fields, which we can select and add in additional information. We have multi-currency options, where I can change the currency accordingly and update currency. And then I can save. After saving, I can receive my goods, edit, attach, archive, or delete. I can also click on bill and auto convert and auto receive. If I click on receive goods, I can see the receiving quantity. I can update accordingly and receive. And my information shows partial. If I click on the three dots again and receive, you can see the quantity is reduced and I can receive the amount. Now I fully received. I can click on bill. I can go to bills. And now I can click on pay. Under pay, I can now select my currency. Do I want to pay in USD? Or I want to pay in a different currency? Then I can select my bank. Bank transfer, reference number. I can see the conversion. I go next. And I can pay. 
Next, let's go to cell. In cell, you have your quote, invoices and archived, number, contact, due date, total amount, fulfillment, and quick action. Under create new, you can create a new quote or a new invoice. Let's click new quote. I can select my contact, select my line item, hover over the quantity, see the available quantity, input the quantity in there. Again, I can apply a discount, a flat rate by inputting the number, or if I put a percentage, it'll be a percentage discount. I can also have unit price is tax inclusive. I can go here and manually input or select a number range. And again, I can customize number format, input global custom fields, and I have multi-currency options. After saving, I can convert directly to an invoice or convert and auto fulfill. When I click fulfill, I have three options. I have direct, pick, pack, ship, and drop ship. If I click direct, I can fulfill the total quantity. I can convert to an invoice and I can get paid. And I have received. Under accounting, you have your chart of accounts, journal entries, your opening balance, debit note, credit note, expenses, and deposit. Under banking, we can see all our different bank accounts. I can click on the three dots and edit it. Save and connect. And through Salt Edge, I can connect to my bank. For example, Citibank. Then I can put in my ID and password and connect. I also have the ability to reconcile the accounts by clicking reconcile. Then the transactions from my bank account is shown here and then I match them accordingly. Next we have a reports. We have our profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow, general ledger, trial balance, and statement of accounts. We have the statutorily required reports, depending on which country you log in. And we have our purchase reports, age payable, sales, age receivable, and we have our stock valuation report. And that was a quick look at Descara Books. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. We're currently available in Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and the United States. Thank you and have a wonderful day.